it's it's really hard in some ways because like for some of these students you only have them for one term right yeah <laughs> and you're like there's so much <laughs> there and I only have you for this like one little blip of your life and so how do I try to maximize <laughs> my touch point with you um and how can I be comfortable that by the end of this term, I feel good about where you're going? You yeah. know, it's really hard sometimes. Uh, and, and you can't, and the problem is you can only inject so much into one term, right? And so like, um, okay, you need to develop their empathy. You need to get them um, familiar with uh, like <laughs> things aren't, things aren't, uh um isolated right we have a history decades of people doing good work and so to catch someone up with those that decades of work um usually takes longer than one term but then you also have to develop like okay this is why you should care and then like this is how you um uh develop sustainable habits so that you can continue this learning path that you're on and all this stuff like how do you, you like injecting it all into one term is just kind of crazy right um, <laughs> so then so then it's just like okay what the hell do you concentrate on and you can only do so much and and um and you kind of feel like well I need to I need to have a little bit of all of these things into my one in my one course because I can't I don't trust the school system itself <laughs> I don't trust other classes. I only trust my class. Right? <laughs> um, that's the thing. Like I trust, there's some classes that I trust because I know the professors will teach them and everything, right? Yeah. So um, we're building like a good network of courses that someone could take um, mm -hmm. that reinforce each other and complement each other and all that. That's great. But I don't trust, I don't know, if, you know, a, a particular student who's who's taking this, my one course as an elective, who's outside of the discipline or whatever, right? I this is like our one chance, like the whole university's <laughs> one chance to reach this person and get them to, to do yeah. good in the world after they graduate, instead of just like concentrating on making money off of, you know, Wall Street or something, right? Um, yeah, it's really tough. And that's partly also why I do these emails, because these emails are extracurricular, you know, they're, they're, they're para, they're outside of the normal things I'm supposed to be doing as a professor um and I you know my my desire is that they show my students a little bit about myself about how I'm I'm a person and I yeah. have certain um things that I care about yeah and one of those things is, is my students and I, and I want them to know that there are people out there who care about them outside of courses, you know, outside of our relationship of like, you know, I'm your prof and you're my student. Uh, I care about you as a person. And so I want to make sure that you're, 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 um, that you feel supported in, in, in your, the totality of your life, I guess, not just in the course that you're taking with me. Right. Um, yeah. and you know, I use these emails as a way of trying to build that empathy part, I guess, um, mm -hmm. because there isn't time in my classes to do that. Mm -hmm. And you keep saying semester. <laughs> I <laughs> wish I was in semester system. <laughs> I'm in a quarter oh, yeah, system. Yeah, that's right. So like, yeah. I have 10 weeks with someone. Um, wow. you know, and the first week is a blowout. I mean, first week is just a write-off every single term, no matter what system you're in, right? Because you're just covering, this is what the syllabus is about. And then like, mm -hmm. you know, five people drop the class and five people join the class, right? So like that first week is just a wash. So you, I really only have nine weeks with these people. Wow. Um, so I have to do stuff outside of, outside of my courses and yeah. these emails are outside of my courses, you know. I just think it's fantastic that you you've been able to extend past that those weeks by you know and teaching kind of the values that you've been talking about as well as exposing that like a lot of your letters have links to readings about what is happening so if students weren't kind of paying attention to those things 
they have a a message that includes the support along with it to to learn about those things. So it's so I imagine if people have stayed on your list or for you know since you started, they've you've been able to stay in touch with them beyond that the end of the semester, the, the end of the quarter. Yeah. 